हाई गाइज वेलकम टू सी ए फाइनल एस सी पी एम और एस सी एम पी ई वी आर ट्राइंग टू बी सॉल्विंग एवरी पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर मॉड्यूल वन आर इज डन देन लेट्स गो ओवर टू बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज पोर्टल ऑल्सो लेट्स कवर एवरी थिंग विद प्रॉपर लॉजिक प्रॉपर एक्सप्लेनेशन एवरी डिटेल सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू अ चैप्टर कॉल एज लीन सिस्टम इन लीन सिस्टम देर इज वन इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दर इज कॉल एज टी पी एम टोटल प्रोडक्टिव मेंटेनेंस maintain your machines in such a way so that they give you the performance that they were purchased for there is a concept of tpm total productive maintenance tpm is used worldwide there was one gentleman called as nakajima he made a measure that whether your tpm program is working fine or not he made a concept of oee overall equipment effectiveness He told that if suppose your program is working fine, then your OEE should be eighty-five percent or more, and then OEE itself comprises of three different ratios. You all have availability, you have performance or uh, efficiency, and lastly you all have quality. And individually, he told that availability ratio should be ninety percent or more, efficiency or productivity ratio or performance ratio should be ninety-five percent or more, quality ratio should be ninety-nine percent or more. If you multiply ninety, ninety-five, and ninety-nine, that approximately comes to eighty-five percent. So we have a question whereby we have to find out OEE. Let's look at that question. What will be OEE, overall equipment effectiveness? If second is ideal cycle time, what does this thing mean? it means that if one unit should ideally take one second okay to get manufactured so standard time is one second for one unit planned production time is 7 hours okay and out of total count of 19 to 40 units the good count is 18 848 units okay so we have to be finding out oee over here okay numerically you will require your calcs now for this and four options Are ninety seven point nine six percent, then seventy six point three five percent, then seventy four point seven nine percent, and lastly none of the above. Pick up your calcs, compute, and then comment. Pause the video over here if you all want. Okay, now see. If you want to be finding out OEE, then first thing is OEE itself comprises of ratios. OEE is multiplication of three ratios. First ratio is availability. Second ratio is productivity, performance, or efficiency ratio. Let's symbolize that by P. And lastly, it is your quality ratio that is Q. Over here, what is availability ratio? To give you a simple example, suppose out of eight hours that the machines are available, one hour the machines went bad. Okay, they stop to be working. So therefore, availability ratio will be seven upon eight. In this question, there was no data like this that there was some kind of a downtime. Okay, so therefore this ratio is assumed to be hundred percent. There is no other way because the data is not there in the question. Second, second is performance ratio. You can try to be calling this thing as productivity ratio also or efficiency ratio also. This is calculated as standard hours for actual output divided by actual operating time. Now, if you all try to be seeing actual output, gross output in this case was. Nineteen thousand two forty seconds. Let me take you back to the question. That'll be far better. Okay. So therefore, in the question, if you'll see over here, nineteen thousand two forty units. One unit should have taken one second. No. So therefore, nineteen two forty units should have taken nineteen thousand two hundred and forty seconds. Okay. Divided by, in this case, actual operating time. I guess company work for seven hours. Let's convert everything into seconds. So seven hours into sixty minutes into sixty seconds. Pick up your calcs, compute it. So therefore, this ratio is seventy six point three four percent. Okay. And lastly, quality ratio. Quality ratio means out of how many units produced, how many were good units. That means how many were, how many units were those which passed the quality test. So therefore, we all had produced nineteen to forty units. Out of that, how many units had passed the test, beta? Eighteen thousand eight forty eight, I guess. Okay. If you'll be doing that, that comes to ninety seven point nine six percent. You'll have got availability ratio, performance ratio, quality ratio. Multiply all of them, you'll arrive at OEE. So therefore, OEE is this into this into this. So. Hundred percent into seventy six point three four into ninety seven point nine six percent. Answer is seventy four point seven nine percent. In case that was your answer, good work done. So out of the four options over here, correct option over here is seventy four point seven nine percent. C should be your correct answer. Yeah, that's the correct one. I'll see you next time with another question. Till then, happy learning. Bye. Take care.